Nous sommes de retour à Camaro TV et maintenant on vous parle de son album Anglophone. We are back on Camaro TV and we're going to talk about his English album. You all right? You good? I'm good, I'm good. good. You had your water? Yeah. Cool, cool. Now, um, you had your success in French. Your previous albums were all French. Why would you now want to put on an English album? Well, I think basically it was, it was more of a challenge maybe. And, and basically it was also a kind of, you know, for all those people that we were talking about that, you know, went to get and supported that French record, even if they were non-French speaking people. They've been asking me for years now, when are you going to do an English record? When are you going to do an English record? So writing in French and writing in English is not the same thing, um, especially when you're rapping the, the, the the speed of the rhymes, the way you have to lay it down. You have to be a little bit more laid back when you're rapping in, in, in English. Okay. While when you're doing it in French, you, because the phonetics are a little bit longer, uh, you have to be a little more tighter when you, when you perform in French. That's why a song in French, a rap song in French, sounds always a little bit more mainstream. It's because it's, you don't have that, that swaggy attitude when you're always laid back. So basically it's, very diff it's a very different approach. When you, when you do both, you can compare. I had the title already, The Perfect Stranger came up okay. straight from the beginning. Okay. Um, Why that title? Well, you know, it happened to some pop artists that, you know, like Shakira, for example, when she yeah. came to the States, nobody knew who she was. Like, she was almost like a rookie artist, but... She was a stranger. Yeah, she was a stranger, but at the same time, she was she had a lot of experience. She had a lot, of, you know, done a lot of things before. Mark Anthony, same thing. A lot of those Latin artists that were huge stars in their countries came to North America and 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 had to, you know, start everything from scratch. So, in the hip hop game, I was a little bit feeling the same way. Like you're a stranger, but at the same time you're that perfect stranger because you know what you're doing and you know exactly. It's exactly like a company that have been, you know, they've been developing a product and they know the product so well, but now they're taking it to a different market. Okay. What's the difference between the sound on this album and your previous albums? I mean, then again, the sound is really different as soon as I'm, that's the first thing that, that my, my entourage told me about about me in English, it's like, it's, it's, it doesn't sound the same at all. You know, it has nothing to do, K in French and K in English is two different worlds. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think I'm happy about it because it's, you know, it's, it's, it, takes you to, it takes you to different places artistically. It allows you to, you know, try out different things. I think that record, in English, I think it's a little bit more street that it could be in French okay. on certain songs, but at the same time, you know, I always, even when I write in French, like more than half of it is taught in English at the beginning, you know, it's just because I have references, I have ideas that come up in English and then I write them in French. Okay. So it's as if now it was, it was, it was more natural okay. and it took me a little bit more time because I had to watch out for the words and make sure that I was saying the right thing. But at the same time, it, it took me longer because I have less experience in that. Okay. But it was easier and more natural for me to do though. Okay. I didn't think that much about that album. No. Okay. You know, I just hit the studio, I had sick productions, okay. and I was able to do songs, not only rap tracks. That's okay. very different also. So yeah, I think it's, it's more eclectic than a French album. And it definitely talks maybe to, it's a little bit more mature, okay. you know, so I didn't forget about those kids that have been following me. Okay. But at the same time, I think I'm, I'm just, I'm growing as a human being, but I'm also growing as an artist. Now I know for your album cover, you did like a full day of different shots in the museum and voila, here it is, hot album cover. Tell us about where the uh, idea and concept came for, from the, for the cover. Uh, I wanted to have something a little bit art deco okay. and a little bit vintage. I wanted to give it a more mature finish to it uh, from what I did before. So, um, you know, we got together with Armin, my photographer, okay. somebody that knows me for a little while. And the whole idea was to do something, as I said, art deco, 
but at the same time, I wanted I wanted to be a little bit movie inspired, you know. You put a lot of deep thought into things, and you just don't look at it one sided. You look at it multi dimensional. Yeah, is that very important for you? I mean, definitely. It's you know, I, I like to get involved in everything I do. I like to be hands on in my different ventures. I, um, for me, I take everything very seriously um, because you know I, I I truly believe that the more you get involved. And the more you make sure that you know what the other people are doing for you or with you, um, the more you're gonna be able to react quickly if there's something that goes wrong. That's the problem with a lot of people is that they're not being focused about what they do. You know, if, even if they're an artist, they're a producer, a hustler, anything. You know, if you're not if you're not focused and you're not ready to jump back or switch it off when things go wrong, it's either because you don't know what that person was doing, you don't know her job or his job. That's also very important is that you need, if somebody's doing marketing, if somebody's doing business development, if somebody is doing brand managing, right. you need, they need to work the way you would have done it. And that's very important. So that's why I try to have always a 360 vision on anything I'm doing. Right. You know, um, music is important, but also the label is very important. Yes. My, my publishing company is very important because I help a lot of artists or author or composers or beat makers to work with other people and, and, and work on movie soundtracks. And we have we have a whole vision on that. Concerts, merchandising, we try to, you know, give the artists an opportunity to also have all kind of surrounding business and music so they can, you know, develop some business knowledge also. As far as I can remember, life was different, man. Sometimes I look back, it feels like I'm a different man. Trust me, I prayed every day to survive. Today I pay 100K on a car that I don't even drive. I used to dream of the world, seeing different countries. Today I find uh, There's the good old days song. Um, that's also a very important song for me because I kind of talk about looking at my life when I was in Lebanon and looking at my crazy life now. Like you say, it's impossible that, you know, coming where I come from, with my background, with the very little tiny slighty chance I had to become a millionaire, you know what I mean? To actually think that I'm living everything I'm living today. So good old days is, is two 16 bars of comparing how I was and how it is now. You don't think about it, you just dream about it Today if my suit ain't right, you'll fucking hear about it But fuck it, it is my life and I'm not changing it Let's drink to every dream that I have Let's drink for